Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and today on the project, we're gonna be installing these Z-Moon six inch LED light bars. Now these are gonna go in place of these Cree light bars that I've been using as fog lights. Now it's gonna be a simple swap for the OEM fog lights that look like this. We're gonna try to use the factory fog light plug and uh, yeah, we're gonna review these light bars. We're gonna see how they work and uh, let's get started. Well, all right guys, so <laughs> I already unbox this partially obviously i wouldn't have been able to show you the intro if i didn't so there's the uh the light bar and um you can see it's got the spotlights and the floodlights in the middle so that's pretty sweet um it's a good look at that um yeah let me grab the ruler real quick so these actually are about six and a half inches long from uh end to end on the casing side the actual lighting part is about five and a half so yeah all right half inch on either side of aluminum heavy duty casing um came with this plastic sheet over it so here's one place it on the bubble wrap and what's in the box here the rest of the box we got the wiring harness and this harness actually comes with its own switch so that's pretty cool and it's double side tape so you could wire this through your firewall pop this where you want on the dash or your door panel boom you got your switch um for my application i will not be using most of this or any of this since it's going to be taking the place of my fog lights um and an important thing to note is the fog lights um they're very dim especially from 90s Jeeps and replacing fog lights with these, um, you're gonna blind people. So they're not actually fog lights anymore. They're more off-road lights in the place of fog lights. So yeah, we got, uh, we got a relay attached to this. We got, uh, this is a 40 amp fuse, I'm pretty sure, in there. And uh, yeah, wiring harness, standard. So that's cool. Um, yep. Here are, this is actually a 30 amp fuse. All right, 30 amp fuse. Um, I'm gonna have to take a look at that in a second. 30 amp fuse. All right, we got brackets, mounting brackets for these things. So it's pretty cool. Comes with all the hardware you need. I'm guessing this mounts up. Yeah, pretty sure this goes in here. Yep, we got these uh, nuts in here sliding around, so you just mount up these. Tighten it up with the provided Allen key, that's cool. And uh, got your bolt, which would go um, into the bracket and into your bumper or wherever you want. So yeah, there you go. Cool. Hardware included. Sweet. More hardware. The other lights. Let's take a look at this. There's that protective film. Good. Pretty solid. Pretty solid plastic. You know, same as the other one. Standard. What else? Some instructions and that's it. Looks like uh, it's telling you how to wire this in a very faded blurry kind of picture but i guess you can make it out i can make it out <laughs> i guess that's all that matters huh and look little step-by-step -step instructions all right and in multiple languages how cute so cool very good this is what we got thank you z moon another important step i do right after the unboxing uh when able to i like to test my products, <laughs> make sure they work. I'd really hate to have to take apart all my stuff, wire these things up, put everything back together, <laughs> just to find out that they don't work. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and test these. So here we go. About 12 volts. We're gonna go a little more, you know, we'll do 13 volts. And <clears throat> we're gonna hook up red to red, positive, and black to black. All right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> my eyes. Yeah, they work. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I can't see. 
<laughs> right. There we go. Let's just tone down the voltage a bit. Oh, geez, that's so bright. And right about... Right about 8.5 volts. It's kind of useless lower than that. So, pretty cool. Now, they say they're operable up to 30 volts. Um, but we run it right about here. So, this one works. Jeez, that's bright. Sorry if I blinded you guys, because I'm seeing stars right now. <laughs> All right. And number two. Number two, Derek Jeter. Number two. Yep, there we go. And I'm blind again. Great. <laughs> they work. All right, let me see what happens if I... Swap polarity. Their LEDs, I'm guessing they won't work. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't. So this is very good to keep in mind when wiring. Yep. <clears throat> when wiring to your fog lights, you're going to want to make sure you get the right polarity. Um, or else you're going to wire these up and you're going to plug them in and they won't work. So uh, speaking of which, let me show you how I wire them up. All right, let's get back outside. <laughs> Can't see anything. All right, to start this project. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna take off the negative battery terminal. Then I'm gonna go into the Jeep and I'm gonna show you how to remove the factory bumper end so we have access to the fog light. All right, once you're under the Jeep, your bumper end is connected to the center portion of the bumper trim with a fastener here. I don't know if yours is like mine. I think that's custom 10 millimeter. Uh, you're also gonna have to take off the, uh, the wheel well trim. So I'm gonna pop that off. Maybe you guys still have your trim, maybe you don't. <laughs> but behind the wheel well trim, there's some more fasteners. There is two right here that attach uh, their way up there the bumper end to the fender so there and there behind that horn if you can see it that's gonna have to come off get this out of the way a little bit more but yeah so that's gonna have to come off and then there's one right here can you see that sorry this one's in the way and yeah we're gonna have to take that one off And we got the two really high up on there. How high, real high. How high, real high. Okay. That should do it for the bumper ends. There. Just comes right off. One, two. Three, four, five, and yeah, that's it. Okay guys, let's get a good look at this bracketry that I rigged up to get the LED light bars exactly where the OEM fog lights used to sit. Now it looks like I took the factory bracket and raised it up here. I think this used to sit below under here, but uh, I elevated it with some spacers. It looks like I got a couple washers in there, a nut, and I have it propped up on top. And now it comes down and let's see, it looks like the included hardware to the LEDs mount up right to the original fog light hardware. And it kind of brings the whole unit up a bit. And that's what gets it to sit right in the place of where the original fog lights used to be. So, yeah. So we're gonna start by disconnecting these hex head bolts under here. Um, I think if they're factory, they're gonna be the Torx, but I probably replaced them with these hex head. So I'm gonna start and take off these hex head bolts right now.
All right, it's out. I'm just gonna disconnect it. Ta da! Let's take this over to the bench, get a closer look. Okay, here is our old Cree light bar. Now, a couple of these lights in here stopped working, some of them were flickering, it was very annoying. Uh, Z Moon stepped in just in the right time, gave me these brand new light bars. Now, you can see the casings for these light bars are identical. Ah, identical. Ah, identical. Ah, identical. <laughs> so, since they're identical, and uh, the internals of this failed. Um, I'm hoping that the internals of these won't fail. Um, so far, I can see off the bat that where this mounts is kind of it's one big fastener right here. And on this, I got two over here. Let's take a look at this hardware. So, since these mount up in two spots, I'm hoping they won't twist like these ones did so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mount this bracket the same way I have it on here on here let's go ahead and do it and I'm gonna disconnect my factory fog light fastener and mount from the LED fastener and mount and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on exactly the way I had it just switching old bracket with the new bracket there easy peasy now let's see here there we go use these two little guys I'm surprised I didn't give little lock washers for these. There. That's that easy. This is ready to go back into the XJ. All I gotta do is swap over the plug. I'm gonna put the factory plug on my new lights. And let's see how I have this wired. Because, like I mentioned before, LEDs only go one way. Don't want to cross this up. Oh, nice. Heat shrink. Look at this. Professional job. See? Nothing but the best for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like for these light bars, I have the red wire going to the black wire. And the blue wire go into this black wire. So I'm going to test fit this, plug it in, make sure it works. And uh, yeah, then we'll solder it up. All right. Touch this on real quick. We go in the Jeep. Turn this on. All right. Ignition. Turn on the lights. Fog lights. Let's go see. Oh yeah, she's on. All right, we're gonna finish up wiring red to black and black to blue. Okay.
there we go. We have a Z Moon light bar imitating a factory fog light. All right, guys, and while I have you on the bench, let me show you why I'm changing these out. I'll show you what's broken with them. Oh yeah, nice and bright. I'm gonna dim this voltage way down so you can see better and I'm not blinded. All right, here. This section of lights, they're out. And on this light bar, let me crank it up, see if we could duplicate it. Yep. This one is flickering. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll be able to uh, take these apart, swap out some of these lights, and then get a working light bar in here. But I got my new Z-Moons, and I'm happy with them. Looking cool. So um, yeah, before we get to finishing that install, let me show you one more thing about the fog light switch. All right. If you have a switch bezel that looks like this with a blocked uh, switch where the fog light should be, then this mod isn't for you. Uh, stay tuned for the next project. I'm going to install aux beam lights um, somewhere in the grill, and I'm going to show you how to wire up a switch from scratch. Um, this video is just for XJs that are already equipped with... Actually, <laughs> this is a European rear fog light switch. This will not apply. <laughs> Um, <laughs> fog light switch is missing. Yes, <laughs> this video will only apply to you guys that have the factory fog light switch installed. So, uh, yeah, let me show you something about these switches. Something that is kind of important. Um, here's another one. <laughs> another one. All right, here's our switches. So, us guys that drive around our Jeeps with our fog lights. Um, you know, these, these fog lights, they weren't designed to be um, driving lights. And we throw these fog lights on all the time. And this light in here, this indicator light, it just burns and burns and burns. And this incandescent bulb will just melt the crap out of the internals of this switch. And the switch will fail. And if the switch fails, then your fog lights fails. So you guys that are saying, Dan, my fog lights don't work. I checked the fuses. I can't get them to go on. Well, it might be this switch is melted inside. So you're going to have to rebuild the switch. Now, it's very easy to rebuild the switch. All these switches, they're all the same internally. I think the only difference is the uh, timer for the... Um, no. Yes, this is the only sw different switch. The rear wiper switch is the only different switch inside because it has that one extra down click on the spring. You can actually turn a fog light switch, uh, make a fog light switch out of a defroster switch. Same function. That's why I have this rear fog light switch. I'm going to turn this into another fog light switch. Well, I already did turn it. You'll see it in the next video. Stay tuned for that. So yeah, um, let me see if I could show you a bit of these switches inside. Yeah, here we have one of the culprits. These bulbs, they burn way too hot. To fix this problem, you're gonna have to get uh, an LED. Now I go to superbrightleds.com and I get all the LEDs I need for these switches. Um, oh my goodness, I'm probably out of them. But yeah, you can go get yourself an LED that fits perfectly in these switches and you'll fix your problem. Here's a perfect example of a burnt out uh, fog light switch. So in here you have these little springs. Now these springs apply pressure on the contacts of the switch plate that turns your switches on and off. So this is a nice firm switch. Look at this switch over here. This has got very little give. Why? Because the back is burnt out. This switch has been melted from the back from a hot bulb. See that? In here, solid switch. In here, melted out. So what you can do is you could take apart your switch and you could rebuild it from any of the other internals on the switches. Just make sure you replace the springs these little punches 
And when you put it back together, you line it all back up in the middle. And you go in like so. You take it apart, you mess with it, you'll be able to figure it out. But that's the problem with the switches. So I got a mess to clean up here. <laughs> I keep finding more things to show you. I got my power supply wired up to 12 volts. Um, I'm going to connect the black to ground, obviously. Um, I'm going to connect the purple, which is the power for the switch. I'm going to connect that to the positive 12 volts. Here we go. And I'm also going to connect the orange, which is illumination. And when I touch it in, you can see the switch illuminates. Now, um, when you flick the switch, it sends the signal to your relay from the blue. So the blue is the switch output. Um, so here we go. We're going to throw the switch, and boom, that indicator light goes on. And this indicator light is the culprit. That's what burns out these switches. Um, let me show you what you can put in there in its place. Um, you're going to need a Neo 3 bulb. Uh, size 3, I think it's because it's 3 millimeter. Um, this is red. <laughs> You're not going to want to put red on the uh, green lens. Uh, the red will only usually work on the um, amber colored lens. You could change your, your lens color. If you put amber on amber, it stays amber. If you put uh, white on the amber, it glows a little brighter white because LEDs are crisper. Um, if you put blue on the green it'll turn blue and if you put green or clear on the green it will stay green this is red it's probably not going to show up too well but i just want to show you how you replace these so here you go here's your little three millimeter bulb and you just pop these in drop them in and again leds have polarity so it might not work you're going to have to lift them out, twist them around, till you get them the right way. Let's see. Even if this does go on, <laughs> you probably won't be able to see it because, again, it's a red bulb on the green lens. Ah, you get the point. Whatever. <laughs> so, let me unhook this. Again, this is what you're going to need. This will fix the problem. Get yourself a, a 3 millimeter little bulb from superbrightleds.com. That's it. Put these in. You're good to go. You're good to go, man. Heh. Got it. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. All right. Let's continue our project. All right. Just so you guys can see, I have this nut in here with two nylon washers. And these three pieces combined, let's see, they're just about a half inch of space. So that's what you're going to want if you use this setup. You're going to want a half inch of space to get these, uh, these light bars in the exact spot as factory. If you go with the same setup that I'm doing over here. And just so you can see, these uh, bolts I'm using, these fasteners... They don't thread into here. They're just strictly spacers only. All right. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in. All right, guys, that's basically it. This thing is on. I'm just gonna slide on the factory bumper end and I'm gonna do some fine adjustment to this get it lined up perfectly after I plug this in all right that's how it's gonna look pretty cool so I went ahead and I did adjust them slightly down so uh, you don't blind people, because God forbid you leave these things in the on position on the highway. You're not going to want to shine these in people's eyes, so definitely direct them down. And uh, one other thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to shave some of this inside portion off of the bumper end. Alright, I'm going to get this all back together. 
All right, guys, the passenger side is done. I really like the way these 20 little spotlights, they, they match these little uh, accent lights I have up there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do the driver's side and then uh, turn them on, see how they look. All right, guys, the last thing I wanna talk about is the wattage of these fog lights. Now the box says they're rated at 240 watts per light. So this uh, fog light system has two lights, so we're talking 480 watts. Now if you divide the watts by the 13.8 volts that uh, the vehicles run at, you're getting about 35 and a half amps. Now that's a pretty strong current. Um, and the amp, rating for the fuse they give you is only 30. So, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know. We have everything wired up in the factory fog light. So I wanna make sure that the fuse uh, suits the, the wiring in the vehicle. I don't wanna burn anything up. Now, if you remember when I ran the test, you could see the amps that are being pulled uh, on the light when it's ran is they're only about two and a half, not even three amps uh, per light. So that would be let's say three amps times two, we're talking about six amp uh, fuse. Now, the factory fog lights have a 15 amp fuse, so I think that's more than enough, uh, considering that we ran the, the lights on the, the test bench, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead, and if you can see, the factory fog light fuse is this one right there in that corner. It's a 15, I'm gonna leave it in there, I had no troubles with the other lights. I believe they're about the same. I think all of those lights are about the same. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go with that. So we have now aftermarket LED lights in our factory fog light situation. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in now. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my Jeep XJ fog light upgrade video. Uh, some of you guys have been asking me for a long time to do a video on these. Uh, it just so happens my fog lights crapped out and Z-Moon stepped in and donated these 6-inch light bars to the channel for review. So thank you, Z-Moon. I uh, really enjoy these. Uh, I really love the 10 spotlights on the bottom, 10 spotlights on the top, and you got the two floodlights in the middle. That's really cool. The overall look of these are much more aggressive than the ones I had on there. Um, I'm digging them. I love them. So far, so good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. These will uh, take the place of factory fog lights. All you got to do is modify the brackets just a little bit like I did. You could use the hardware that you have on your XJ along with the hardware that comes on these and you can make them fit. It's really simple. So that's a wrap for this one. Uh, stay tuned for the next project when I put in the aux beam lights. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next project. Waterproof. Check.